All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Banana, Banana Fish, Fish, episode 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Dino's adopting Ash. Yeah, and Ash oh gave the monologue of a lifetime. Uh -huh. It was crushing, soul yeah. crushing. Yep. And now we see just how crushed his soul is mm -hmm. as uh, alliances are being made on the back end side of things through Blanca. Mm -hmm. We now have, a, in a weird way, a position where Dino and Yutlung are both in like this tenuous kind of peace of sorts. Right. But things are about to go down mm -hmm. when this uh, gala gets uh, raided and Indeed. Uh, yeah. attacked by uh, some combined forces here. Exactly, because Ash's friends are going to rescue him. They're going to try. They're going to try. But... Um, yeah, mm. I get the feeling this isn't going to go very well. I actually get the feeling that it's going to go really well. Yeah. It's just the thing as to whether or not there will be a lot of people, you know, that uh, make it through this to see Ash, you know. Exactly. Yeah, because we're coming up on the end of this show, and I think we all know that this is not the kind of show where everyone lives happily ever after. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah exactly. You know... Let's get chopping. Yeah, let's let's get chopping. Let's see also a whole lot of characters that we've built up over the course of this season, or this, this show, really, to be all in the same place, you know, approximately, mm -hmm. and have all their decisions kind of bounce off each other's and stuff. Yep. Because I'm really curious to see how AG acts once he's in there versus, you know, someone like Singh, for instance. Sure. And seeing how they... Uh, uh, team up in that regard. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <sighs> yeah. Whoa. That was what Blanca noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Blanca wants to talk to him. Oh, man. How fucked would that be if mm. Ash never got to see A.G. again? Mm. Oh, shit! All right! Holy oh crap. my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you've got to point the gun, you might as well just shoot. Right. Yeah. I need oh, to protect I like you. this. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, shoot again. Holy Shooting shit! Shooting while blind? Ash! Holy shit. Wow, that worked super well. Let's go. And now he's shot Dino in the same way that Ash did. Yeah. Shot in the shoulder. What? <laughs> Not answering. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Wow. Oh, that's right. so smart. You have an obvious big truck that's mm -hmm. slow, big getaway car. It'll take yep. them forever before they figure out that it's nobody. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh. I needed a moment like this. Mm-hmm. Yep. You guys did damn good. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Nope. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, we get it. <sighs> yeah, get some sleep, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. And with AG, he's able to calm down. Yep. Shit. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ha! 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 Hey! Well. Shit, already. Shit, yep. Oh, God. That was cool. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're splitting up. Yeah. Shit, mm. so the two gangs are already separated at this point. Wait. No way. Dude, Alright. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Get him out of here, Kane. Yep. Shooting while not looking. <laughs> I love that these three have formed this little mm -hmm. this little unit yep, now, yep. you know? And there we go. Mm -hmm. Got him out. Okay. So, eat up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or rest up, yeah. Stay in here and get back to... Oh, really? <laughs> I can do a lot. I'm not weak. <laughs> no way. That's no not way. actually Ash. That's a double. Yeah. No, oh. that is him. Okay. Yeah, that's Ash. Oh, he's going to, uh, like a specific place? Yeah? Uh-huh. Yep. Alright. He's made this a, a, a labyrinth of death. Right. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice! How does he have enough ammo, though? Probably has a lot of extra mags. Like, if he initiated this... Yeah, because Eiji's dealing with shit right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you could go after Eiji right now. Uh, you sure? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Call the police, maybe. Yeah. I would literally use the police if I were them. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking he was using the museum for, is that, you know, there'd be security systems and stuff if there was a an electricity blackout. and. I think it's just going to be, yeah, like this. There's weird lighting and weird things in the... Wow. A night at the museum. Okay, Zoro. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sure. 
Right, it's a bunch of things you're seeing in your periphery and... Yeah. Okay. Well, crap. Yeah. Oh, shit! <sighs> They're gonna kill him. He's dead. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit! Light him up! Drive by! Let's go! <laughs> Did you forget that I'm here? Oh. Yep. All right. Clean, clean. Shit, shit. Mutual hostages. Yep, yep. But these men work for Yutlung, so... But he could play chicken. Oh, this is so layered. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. AG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Good so old-fashioned prisoner exchange. Yep. <laughs> this is no mine. It's a tomb. All of them. Yeah. Was okay. cool. Yeah, that was awesome. That was like some spike and vicious shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, he's not happy. Mmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't just about getting hurt. That uh -huh. was uh. Being in his service, you know. Right. You're watching it, walking a dangerous road, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Alright. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And that was all one episode. All one episode. Damn. Oh. Okay. This show really moves. Uh-huh. Okay, oh. that was... <laughs> you never know with banana fish. Like, it just moves so fast. So fast. Like It's like, oh yeah, this is going to be a really dark, depressing episode. Because, you know, that last episode was a bit of a downer. And, you know, mm -hmm. things seemed kind of hopeless. And, and like, oh, we're going to have to do something reckless. But no, that worked out just fine. And that was just like the first five minutes of the episode. And then yeah. we get into everything else. Yeah, and, and it's amazing okay. to see how consistent Blanca was actually there protecting ash in a weird mm -hmm. way by basically having this be a situation where oh if yutlung was basically able to be put into jeopardy he would have to protect him but because yeah. he's mm -hmm. protecting him he's not going to step in and right. end this whole thing himself because because that is absolutely the kind of thing where yes he could do that in a, well right but also in a security situation when there's an attack it's the nope sorry i don't care that you're the one paying me boss Get, get over here, you know, like, yeah, like yeah. whatever you have to do. I, I just love that so much because, one, it gave AG a really cool moment where if, if Blanca had followed his orders, mm -hmm. Yotlung's orders, AG would have been dead on the spot right there. Yep. He just whipped out behind the pillar, pulled his gun, shot him in the head, right. AG's dead, it's over. Mm -hmm. But AG then gets his moment shooting Dino. Right. And, yes, and, in the same spot where, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, yeah. Oh, yeah, shoulder, yeah. shoulder, there you go. Yeah, yeah, and, and the one bit of, like, incompetency maybe in this episode, I would say, would actually be with Dino surviving, but that's because AG was the one on task to kill him, yep. and he's new with a gun, so it makes sense that he's incompetent. He fires just the one time as opposed to... He the also usual. hesitated as well. He also hesitated, yeah, so there were, there were a few things, you know, as opposed to just bam, 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 bam. But, you know, okay, cool. So they end up getting away, they use some really clever tactics in order to escape mm -hmm. eventually the baddies are able to get after them 
awesome because that makes sense. Again, because Blanca mm -hmm. figured it out rather yep. quickly. And when it comes to Dino, like Dino can be um, can be surprised because he's a he's the head of an organization. He, like it's very easy to get info on where he's going to be and things like that. For sure. And so you can set things up so that you're initiating when it's to your advantage, right? Right. But after that, he is the head of a large organization. Yeah. He's going to be sending people after you. These people are going to be much better trained, much, much better, better equipped, armed, yep. right? Like, like it's th th at that point, all advantage stops, right? Yep. And then it's just it's it's guerrilla warfare. Disappear. Hope run, he doesn't run, find run. you because. Yeah. He probably will find you, and if he does find you, you lose. Like, right. like a lot of the characters were just captured off screen because it's like, of course, right? Yeah. If they, if he wants to take them alive, he will. Like, yeah. that's just how it goes. Yeah, I loved how many times in the sewers it basically switched back and forth as to who was in the lead as far mm. as like getting away, uh, having the advantage in the gunfight. But then we also had the sweet, quiet, simple mm -hmm. moment of some canned soup. Yep, and. Ash getting to talk with AG and share about what he went through while yeah. in Dino's hold. So Ash Ash is physically unwell. Mm -hmm. But do you think this is set up for something where the um, effective torture that he endured in there has left some kind of permanent effect on him? Or do you feel like that was more just a temporary thing of, oh... Like the blindness, it was something that has mm -hmm. been induced upon him. But the way he ripped off the uh, the the rope goes to show that he's not. Well, yeah, he didn't rip off the rope. He ripped or, off yeah. the thing that it was attached to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. He has definitely recovered a large amount. They right. could theoretically still say that it took its toll because a month with like basically no food and stuff will absolutely have an effect. Mm -hmm. For um, sure. But but. You know, it was it was very clearly kind of implied that it was more mental. Yeah, that while the physical the physical stuff was a symptom of the mental stuff, right? Yes, and the exactly. mental stuff was taken care of once he was reunited with Ag. Yeah. So awesome! I think there is uh, grounds for for the show to kind of have that still be a thing for when Blanca and Ash end up fighting their final battle because. And then you could sort of have that thing of like, oh, each of them maybe is carrying different wounds from different things that happen or something. And then it's like, oh, oh for sure. what? who knows what would have happened if they were both fighting on like equal footing or something. Um, Possibly, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Ash is in the clear now for the most part. Clear. Okay. Yeah. I love also, I just got to say, the Museum of Natural History mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, strat here. Because by going to a very public open place with a massive entrance yep. where they're going to feel like they have natural cover at mm -hmm. the entrance but then you have Kane show up with right. three vehicles and a drive-by with machine guns <laughs> and they just go and spray everybody yep. and then it's a thing of where oh shit wait 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 we have to flip our, our cover here uh huh too late ash comes in at the perfect time right the, and your front line becomes your back line mm -hmm. and there you go I've got the alone and if not, and and I think Ash also was making sure that they were pressured into doing things in a particular way that would allow this to be possible. Because mm -hmm. since he's in a public place, power yeah. was cut. They cannot wait here forever. No. Eventually, the regular society people will get involved, and then the jig's up. Right. Yeah, they have to make a panicked, in some ways, forced decision. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yutlung makes the decision that Blanca was cautioning him against of sending men into the into the museum. Right. When they do, they die because Ash set it up so that he'll he'll be able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. As a result of that, Yutlung has fewer people with right. him. Right. So then mm -hmm. Kane's group shows up, they're able to pressure them effectively because and, their numbers are less. Because yeah. their numbers are less, and then all of them have to then move to respond, and then Ash comes up and there's only the one person with Yutlung, they're dead in a second, yep. and then he's got him, right? Yeah. I don't think that would have been able to work necessarily if, you know, uh Yutlung had twice as many guys. For right? sure, for like, sure. That probably wouldn't have been a thing. Uh -huh. So it was it was a lot of clever counterplay and 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 forced decisions that were like potentially suboptimal, but the best that the people could have done in that given situation. Right. I'm almost curious though, given how many little things were um Con conveniently worked out because of the actions of Blanca, though. If Blanca is helping Ash a little bit, yeah, and just doesn't want him to die, but then we saw 
Blanca give him another test effectively right by basically being like okay cool we'll do the three two one exchange yep mm -hmm. and then he'll see like does he remember the thing that once the exchange is done I'm going to try to kill him right because of course he is and of course he's got a gun mm -hmm. and he's also not holding his prisoners Right. They're literally just right there. Yep. So know. he has every advantage to get the to get the, the quick faster draw. draw. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he gets the quick draw, mm -hmm. fires at Ash. Ash takes it in the shoulder. Right. And makes it a glancing blow because mm -hmm. he knows where Blanc is going to be shooting. Yep. Which is crazy in of itself. But then also throws his knife with the same arm that was wounded. With the same arm that was wounded with perfect mm -hmm. accuracy to hit him in the face, and Blanc catches it with the uh same kind of move, good, good yeah. Job, kid. Putting the arm in the way, yeah, yeah. And it's this kind of thing where I'm like, that dance looked really cool, mm -hmm. but it almost, in some ways, was like, oh, like more of a test rather than an right. actual thing of where he's like, I'm gonna shoot him in the kneecap. Yeah, it's the I see you're using Benetti's defense against me, huh? You yeah, know, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it's the oh, wait, Blanca, if you wanted to, you could have maybe made this a he can't defend against this. You just go. Bah, you know, and then just right. fire. Well, and after that exchange, it didn't continue, mm. right? Like now, granted, narratively, it it you had the one two punch, and it was you know, and it was it was great, right? Well, if anything, I think I think the scary thing is that he was legitimately at that point now like, okay, cool, I need to get Yotlung out of here, sure, because Yotlung did almost die mm -hmm. on right. his watch, and that's the other thing. If you think about the Kane's group coming in here to do the drive by. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make sense for Blanca to hit the vehicles without Yutlung or to then not grab Yutlung and throw him to the ground. If anything, he separated himself from Yutlung oh. there, knowing that Ash was behind them. And it feels very like, hmm, hmm a little sus of like, okay. Blanca to be like, hey, I'll, I'll give you another out potentially, Ash. You, what you want it? It's there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I like it. I like it. was taken. What do you know? And right, hmm. and he he knows how Ash thinks and everything, mm -hmm. and he knows his own capabilities. So Yutlung isn't really in any actual danger. No, like he's not actually going to die or whatever. But, but yeah, in that respect, does he need to then contest Ash as much because Ash at that point isn't trying to kill Yutlung? Right. But uh -huh. Kane's men are theoretically. So you, right, it's no, yeah, no. That's actually like, a good point. Yeah, because like, he's because he because he could be thinking like this could like it could be a thing of like ah yes, this will help Ash get away, but it could also be the hey indiscriminate bullets could just be indiscriminate, indiscriminate bullets, bullets you could know? totally just do him in yep. right. Yep. Ash is gonna be smart about this, so if if he does end up doing something, he's not just gonna show up and kill you. Like theoretically, he could, and then be mm -hmm. like, "Your boss is dead. They were his prisoners. You don't need to be here." You know, but, possibly. But nah, you know that that would have gone badly. That would have gone really badly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he ends up taking him captive. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yutlung is still very safe. You know, and then it's just, well. Now I guess he just doesn't get to keep his hostages. Cool. I just love the idea of them having a final battle. And mm -hmm. um, Blanca just having his moment of being like, <coughs> you grew up so much, kid. Mm -hmm. Don't ever stop. Yeah. But maybe learn to. Not bad, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe instead of don't ever stop, just a thing of where it's like, don't make the same mistake I did, you know? Sure. Of basically like letting, letting this all just go. You right, know? because... Yeah, I, hmm. and just walking away and then leaving. You know, right. that's that's the thing. That's that's really the main did thing. Come back into the game, and that yeah, yeah. might be his big mistake. And that might be Ash's mistake either, as mm -hmm. as well as that. It's just that you didn't go to Japan. You didn't go. You didn't leave. Yeah. You, uh -huh. you you have opportunities. Like it's just. Yep. Yep. Why are you still here? You know. It's a good question. Uh, Ag and you just need to disappear. Just, just dip. Go. Just get out of there. Yeah. Get out. eBay. Skid skedaddle. Skadoodle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Uh, one of the other things that I liked is like a little detail that mm -hmm. is potentially unimportant in the grand scheme of things. But okay. so when everyone's taken captive, right now, looking at the episode in hindsight, they are going to end up getting set free because Ash captures Yutlung and all of that stuff. Right. And then, you know, prisoner exchange and everything. And it's good. But uh, Singh's buddy ends up 
Lao, yeah. Yeah, Lao ends up risking his life to save Singh and kick him down into the water. And then because Singh isn't as important, they just sort of let him go. Yeah. That was that was a lot of fun because it's something where it's showing the individual choices of one of the characters that I don't know that well mm -hmm. that theoretically could have some big ramifications later in the episode. It didn't. I thought, like, maybe well, Singh would come in and help out. It was the follow-up on their conversation in the subway that's been mm -hmm. defunct where they, he was like, hey, I'm sorry, Lao, for pushing you so deep into this right and he's like no nah, man it's all good but i saw how the higher-ups were doing this kind of stuff it's but, not cool but I'm what's with, with ash you know he killed yeah, yeah, well, what the hell with ash what yeah. the hell is with ash and he's like okay boss yep. sure i'm loyal right. to you mm -hmm. yeah absolutely if this is your decision then okay that's what we're doing right and, and i like that because because the shorter death is something that you know, you know yeah saying can't just give him all the info like it's nope. just yeah it's no. And, yeah, that's not really duplicatable because other people mm -hmm. would have issues with it, and you can't just be like, okay, so here's the situation. Everybody, you it's know, this blah, thing blah, blah, called banana fish. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> uh huh. Um, but okay. Yeah, but here all right. we are. Yeah, here we are. I did um, not think that the episode would end in this kind of situation, given where yeah, the previous we're... episode <laughs> ended. <laughs> Holy shit! So far, it's, yep. it's so good how much the conflicts will be. Uh, introduced and brought up and resolved mm -hmm. and then introduced again to right. another context and brought up and resolved and then oh, okay now we're yeah. going into the next episode and it's like and like normally at this point thinking oh there's only four episodes left i'd be like oh well then there's not a whole lot that can happen and it's like no no with this show happen no a metric fuck ton can happen in yeah, the next four episodes is going to unleash a scorpion in his garden which i'm like Wait a minute. So he's going to be a burn the greenhouse down. You well, know? Right, but is this going to be no, he's talking about Ash, but no, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Is this going to be him like taking one of his brothers that's been banana fished and like using them as like a like a invisible hitman, you know, or something? Or is this going to be a thing of where oh, uh Yutlung himself is going to basically become the scorpion and use his poison stuff and all that to basically sure. just go invisible and go after Ash in that uh -huh. regard? Yeah, or, it's or what? Like I in some ways I'm I'm really interested to see Yutlung suit up and mm -hmm. be like, Okay, it's my turn now. Right. Like you've never fought me, Ash. Like you've never actually like yeah, dealt because, with me because you trying know. to kill you, like in the Yeah. Uh huh. Like, <laughs> you just know that Yutlung wants to have that battle at some point. But but but, that's but the he's, thing. he's not equipped for it, but if but he, he doesn't is. go for a straight up battle you know yeah yeah not for a battle but right. for just a kill you know that's right. the thing that's what you yeah, would be good at you know yeah it's just get close to some of the people that would be you know potentially yeah. he, in nash's he circle he goes after max and ebay you know he he does like mm -hmm. he does all sorts of things right yep. Yep. yeah sets up some some traps sets up some mm -hmm. some tricks puts some things uh in the path that could be poisoned or what have you um start do, essentially doing some kind of uh terror war where mm -hmm. it, he just leaves things in specific places and and with specific people that then makes ash just nervous and panicky and yeah yutlung can do all kinds of stuff one of the other things though that i thought was kind of interesting that was mm -hmm. officially brought up in this episode is that yutlung and dino are not going to be allies forever i mean well and we knew that no we knew that but the fact that yutlung actually said it to blanca mm -hmm. that makes me think that he's going to start moving sooner rather than later oh well, he's yeah that's what the end of the episode was yeah right yeah and i'm just i'm very excited to see how that ends up working out because he seems to be preoccupied with ash at the moment and mm -hmm. i could absolutely see him biting off more than he can chew if he tries to deal with them both at the same time well yeah this is a this is very much a all the bad guys die mm -hmm. oh, kind oh, of yeah. story oh a hundred percent yes maybe maybe not some politicians or some and people sure. that are, you know, the the one colonel guy or whatever, or you know. Yeah, he he's probably going to get out of this just fine. You sure. Know? And yeah. then he's going to pass banana fish on to some other people, and that's going to be the, just the depressing angle of the story. Oh uh, yeah. Because there's there's definitely that that air of like the um, the the creator of this having that little like little like taste of the conspiracy theory angle with oh, like. Sure. Oh yes, like the corruption runs deep mm -hmm. in certain groups and what have you. And it's like, ah, okay, okay, gotcha. But then, but then on the other side of things, it's like, oh, but then these are the colder, darker sides of just uh, you know, politicians and military people mm -hmm. and like really shady, you know, uh, you know, yeah. things that they got to get up to together. And it's like, mm, right, okay, okay. But yeah, remember, uh, Max is still involved mm -hmm. uh, in this whole thing, so. 
bringing everyone back together again for another uh, confrontation, I think, is warranted. But yep. we need some time with Ash and AG mm -hmm. to kind of break things down, see where we're going from here. Yes. And uh, yeah, Yit Lung will be the next initiator. So, Indeed. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.